Nothing in front of Hello everyone. Welcome to your Tabata class today. My name is Elena. For today's class, you guys are going to need no equipment. If you have a dumbbell that you would like to use, we have about two exercises that you do need something just to hold. If you don't have a dumbbell close by, that's totally fine. You don't need it. We have one, two, three, four, five rounds today. Two exercises in each round that we are going to repeat four times each. Make sure you can hear the music as the music has the timing in it. We are gonna start with our warm up. Let's get to it. If you can't hear me, can't see me, let me know. Right click me and pin me. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and start with just some little buckets. Use those arms, get that body nice and warm. We've got a lot of high intensity moves today. A lot of full body moves, and get nice and warm. Open, open. Open up that chest. All right, put those knees up. In front. Start to warm up those hip flexors. Start to pull that core in, press the shoulders down. All right, some leg swings. Holding onto something or just standing upright. Whatever leg you want to start with first. And other leg. Up. Swing it back. Let gravity do the work here. Still keeping our core engaged and our shoulders down. All right, bring it back to the center. We're gonna go reach to the top, get forward. Hands to the ground, squat those hips down. Make sure those knees are pressing a little bit out. Bring those arms up and stand. Repeat, bring it over, squat it down and up. Start nice and low if you need to. And then make your way nice and high if you need to make your way lower as you get more work. Press. Use a smartwatch. Make sure you open. Let's go. All right. Reach those arms up. Right arm drops down. Lift it up and over. That right arm. Bring it up. Reach up and over. All right. Back to your space. Let's hinge it forward. Don't fall over like me. Walk it out into your plank position. We have a couple plank positions today. Make sure that those hands are nice and warm. Walk it back up. Roll up through your spine. And repeat. Roll through your spine down. Walk the hands out. This time we are going to walk the feet to the hands. Walk, 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 walk onto the toes. Roll it up. We have one more. And then we are going to start. Bring it down. Walk the hands out to a plank. Hold that plank. Walk the feet in. Roll it up. Shake out those hands. We have some high knees and jumping jacks to start just to keep us going strong. I will give you some modifications as you as well. All right. We are going to start with our high knees. We're going to alternate two jumping jacks. Then we have a bear hold. Go ahead and pick those knees up. We'll walk through the first one. Modified, stepping. down here nice and quick hands and knees tuck those toes under inhale lift those knees off the ground bear hold step the feet 
out to a plank. Bring it back into a bear hold. Back out to a plank. Bear hold. Plank. One. Break. Those knees should only be about an inch off the ground. Jumping jack snacks. Here we go. Stop, bring it down to the floor, hands and knees. Make sure those hands are under the shoulders, nice flat back. Inhale, pull that core in. Lift the knees. Plank. Only thing moving is those legs. Back. a little bit of quads, shoulders, and core. Back to our high knees. Here we go. Faster feet. Bring it back down to the floor. And inhale, hold. Look at those knees. Make sure they're not an inch off the floor. Bring it back to the plank. Bring it back. All right. One more set of each, we have our jumping jacks. Here we go. Frame up. Let's get those jumping jacks going. And break, bring it down to the ground. Last set of our Bear holds. Big breath in. Inhale, exhale. Whatever feels natural to you. Just keep breathing. Keep that core pulled in. Whew. All right, relax. You got a minute? A full minute. Now we'll go over the next round with you guys. Grab some water. Sometimes you know. What else can we do when we're feeling low? So take a deep breath and let it go. You shouldn't be drowning on your own. Nice deep breath. All right, we have a superset type deal with our lower body for this next set. So we have reverse lunges. Option modified is just stepping. Reverse, you're gonna do same leg for 20 seconds. Back here, okay? So I want that constant tension on that working leg. To make this a little bit harder, you're gonna step it back. Hand touches the ground. If you wanna tap the ground, make sure that back is flat. We don't want a rounded back. Nice flat back, tap the ground, bring it up, hop, back, up. It's one switch movement. Take it slow, break it down. We're gonna do one leg each round. So we'll do each leg twice. And then from there, we have B stance squats. Man, I'm going to do guys. So B stance squats are normal, hip width apart. You're gonna take one of your legs, you're just going to pop the toe. So you still have support on it. Think about 80% of the weight on one leg and you're gonna squat. So this leg doesn't have much pressure on it. So 
So it's gonna look like this. You're essentially squatting over one leg. It's a little messes with your mind a bit. This is a good way to get those single leg working our way there. We're gonna alternate. If you'd like dumbbells to make this harder, you can hold dumbbells. That is your choice. I might take my little 15 pounder and I'll probably be here for my rounds. If the B stand squats are not for you, regular squats. And I want you to add a nice little hold at the bottom. A nice little pulse up, down. That's your modification. If you're like, my knees aren't having it today. And that's fine. All right, here we go. Reverse lunges. Adding in the hop if you like. Let's start on that right leg, front. Left, left leg, back. Pop it. Pressing through that front heel you know as you stand. Up. <laughs> you know the reform vibe. We gon' wiggle, 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 wiggle and dance. <laughs> like the reform vibe. We gon' drink drinks and take shots until we fall out. Three, like the reform vibe. Two, now baby, give it good and nigga, take off with your hands and light the reform vibe. Tell her, tell her, baby, 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 Left leg in front. Here we go, set it back. Take it slow. Once you get it down, a little bit. Modify as needed. If you think I'm burning out, I never am. Left leg is hot. Right leg. Here. Keep that knee behind the toe. Round two, down. All right, let's water. You guys get a 
minute. Oh boy. All these exercises look so good on paper. All right. We have some mountain climbers with a push up. So, eight mountain climbers. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight push up. If you are solid at push ups and you want to work on your push up, you can do four mountain climbers into a push up. It's your workout. <laughs> I'm gonna to drop to my knees and do knee push-ups. You do the same if that's what works for you. After that, we are going to have another fun combo. So the modification is gonna be a regular squat. Otherwise it's gonna be a squat jump. It's gonna walk out into a plank. We're gonna do a commando. You're gonna feel it in the upper body as well as the legs a little bit here. So it's gonna look like this. Either you're going to squat up down and as you come down for your second one, you walk it out into a plank. From here, you bring it down to the elbows. Back up, you walk it back in to your squat. Squat. If you're doing your squat jump, it's the same thing. Squat jump, down, walk it out, plank, down, down, up, up, walk it in, jump squat. <laughs> All right, you guys, you got about 10 seconds. First round, mountain climbers to push ups. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Mountain climbers to push up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. If you want to dance in the tiger, put your hands up. Here we go. Walk it out. Keep those hips down, keep that core tight. Three, two, one. Stop. 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 Three, two, one. Stop.
Oh, 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 Hope you guys are sweating as much as I am. All right, next round. You're like, what? Another one. This is core. So we're gonna have a little bit of our core round. So if you have a dumbbell, you can take it. Actually, that's too heavy for me. It's gonna be one arm. It's gonna be straight up. Other arm is out to the side for support. You can do double leg lifts here. If you are comfy in your leg lifts, you're gonna do them here. If as soon as your legs start to go down and you notice your low back pops up, bend those knees and keep that low back on the ground and you're just gonna tap both toes on the ground and bring it back, okay? Oh, from there, we are gonna sit it up. And we are going to take our weight, if you have one, and you're going to bring it into your V-sit. And your option is overhead press, back down. You're just bringing those arms up over the head. And then next round after that, we're going to alternate with Russian twists. If you have a specific core exercise that you prefer, this is your time to essentially do whatever core exercise you want to do for those 20 seconds. All right, all right. One dumbbell hold, double leg raises, and then combo of our boat pose, some Russian twists, pushing those weights up. Okay. Got about 10 more seconds. All right, grab that dumbbell. Bring it down. I oh, know it's a quick start. Modify as you fix or you can bend knees. All right, sit it up. You sit. Feet up. Roll those hips forward. Press that up overhead. If you're not using weights, same thing. Up. Down. Up. Down. Go ahead. Hands. Into the other hand, the other arm comes out to the side. That Here we go. You're just ringing in my ear, and if I hurt you, which I don't, I'm spoken for, I fear. Everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret siren, but I'm blocking out your call. I've had my adventure. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid of what I'm risking. Stop. All right, Russian twist here. Hold that piece there. Hi, hip flexors. Hey, Lynette. I'm pro. 
watch those feet tonight. The habit I do is well. All right. Back to that right hand. Bring it out. Presses overhead. Take a quick stretch. Modify, keep those heels down, and you're here. Those feet are up. Use those ankles and knees together. Go across those feet. Right arm reaches out. Keep that low back on the floor. the drill you get a minute Wait. so we have some options for the last round all right we have some kick throughs this last round is gonna be a little bit different. There's gonna be four exercises that we repeat two times each. So first one is gonna be reach throughs, which is in our plank position. You're up in your high plank. I lied, you're in your bear crawl position. <laughs> From here, you're gonna lean your weight onto that right hand. You shift, leg kicks out, whatever you wanna do with this hand. Flips back over to your bear hold. Make sure you're coming back to this position. Make sure you're not up here. I wanna make sure you're right back in that position. You twist, other leg kicks out, back to bear hold, okay? So those are your kick throughs. Feel free to just hold a bear crawl in that position as well. If those mess with your brain a bit. After that, we're gonna stand up. We got skaters, bringing it, side hops, side to side, skaters. And then after that, and then after that, you either have a regular squat to a calf raise if you want to keep this low impact. Otherwise, jump squats. Most progression from there is you're going to start on your knees. From here, step it up, step it up, jump squat, step it down, step it down, up. Good knees, you're not going to do those. And that's fine. If you have good knees and you feel good with them, do the last one, otherwise modify to squats, calf raise, whatever you need. And then for that last round, we have burpees. Again, modify as needed, take them slow, take them fast, add a jump squat, add a push up, add whatever you want, they're burpees. All right, this is our last round. Let's do it. Welcome to Tabata. All right, here we go. Air hold position. Four, three, two, one, go. Kick through. Back. Kick through. Round one. 
using a hose hips. Bring it up for those skaters. Three, two, one, go. Pop it. Bring it back. Watch that front knee. Behind the toe. for it. stretch real quick just take it down nice and flat on the ground pull both of those knees into the chest taking nice big deep breaths bring those arms up over the head send out that left leg straight take that right leg bring it up and over to the left side And bring it back in, switch legs over to the left. Up and over to the right. Woo. And back in, happy baby real quick. Stretch out those 
hamstrings and those hips. Bring those legs together, rock it up, bring those feet together. Nice butterfly position, sit up nice and straight. Lean backwards, have those shoulders pulled down and away from you. Inhale, and big exhale, curve it over. Give your feet a nice lift. Bring it up, shake it out, roll out those wrists. I know it was a lot of moves on the wrists today. It's normal for them to be a little sore. All right, shake it out. And that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope I'll see you next time.